have you gotten an appreciation of this division's rivalries in this in this year? The fact that if you win, Pittsburgh gets in, how does that make you feel? Um, I'm just going in the game and um, just kind of approaching it as in we trying to finish 8-7-1. and one. Um, and whatever results of that, I mean, it just results of it. I mean, uh, I don't really think about, oh, if we win, we helping Pittsburgh. If we lose, we helping the Ravens. I mean, I really don't look at it like that. What unique challenges do they face the way Lamar Jackson runs with the ball? Um, he's a very elusive runner. Um, he's a very tough runner. Um, he's he's a very difficult cover. I mean, uh, obviously, you've seen eight. They've been like the number one rushing offense since he's took over at quarterback in what they're four and one, five and one, or something like that. Um, but no, I mean, uh, he's a great, great quarterback, and just kind of looking forward for the matchup. Does it feel like they have twelve guys on offense because of his? You know, he's like two different players, a passer and a runner. Well, yeah, I mean, not nah, typically uh, in. Uh, traditional NFL offense, the quarterback normally isn't used as a runner and typically they're not used as an extra blocker whenever you can have your uh, your running back be an extra lead blocker and typically that kind of hurts the defense because I mean that's it's not easy to cover because I mean if you got a, a quarterback that's able to take hits just like a running back, I mean that's just like having a wildcat quarterback in. You lose their team in, in rushing attempts, what kind of passer is um, I mean, um, I feel like he's a capable passer. Um, I, I feel like he can make all the throws. Um, I feel like he he can do enough to keep you honest. So I mean, um, with that scheme that they got, uh, their offense is very, very tough to tough to defend. Well, you guys uh, are in the same game with the number one ranked defense in the NFL. Do you guys kind of take it as a matter of pride and amongst yourself to show that uh, you know, that you're just as good as they are? We just got to uh, outplay them the way we did last time. I mean, um, last time we played them here, uh, the score was 9-12. to 12 And and, um, and I just like, and I think it's going to come down to the same type of football. Uh, whichever defense can make that play in the fourth quarter, uh, I feel like that's who's going to win the game. You're not going to the playoffs, so I would imagine the hope would be that you've built something for next year. What has been built for next year? Um, I mean, consistency. And... Um, and just starting a winning streak. I mean, um, that's something big for us. And um, to finish out this strong and um, the way we started with a lot of the close games we lost and some players we lost and um, just a bunch of other things that we lost through the way. And uh, for us to have a chance to finish 8-7-1 is, is like a really big stepping stone for us. What, what is this team now that, what, what has it become that maybe it wasn't uh, a couple of months ago? Um, I mean, guys just started putting things together. Um, I mean, uh, just being more consistent and, um, and uh, guys are starting to trust each other. And, um, and when you got 11 guys that is on the same page when they're, whenever they is on the field, I mean, um, with that type of cohesion, um, things can get really special right here. Would you take enjoyment from ending another team's playoff hopes? Um, yes. <laughs> just the competitiveness? Yes. Um, um, I mean, I just go in every game to try to win every game. And um, and to know that they have to beat us to make the playoff, um, I mean, I'm sure they're in a similar situation they was in last year and they had to beat the Bengals. And, um, and it seemed like we have nothing to lose, but I feel like that um, that we taking this game just like it's the second game, third game, a playoff game. I mean, uh, we just going in it to win just like they going in it to win. At this point, with the uh, coaching decision uh, coming up within the next uh, several weeks, uh, is, that, is that something that uh, you really can't avoid? I, I would think you couldn't avoid thinking about that. I could definitely avoid it. I mean, it's not my decision to make. So, I mean, um, uh, I'm going to be playing for whatever coach we choose. And um, I don't have a say-so in it, and um, I'm going to keep it that way. With the, when you, the way they run the ball so effectively, how does that affect you guys? I discipline in the backfield. I don't know. I'm like 25 yards deep, so I should be good back there, bro. <laughs> I know. I know. Even before the season, you felt really good about the talent in mm -hmm. this line. Um, and you talked about the things that have changed since the beginning of the season, but is there any sense of regret when you look back and be like, man, if we'd only figured it out a little bit sooner, where you could be? No, um, I mean, because everything happens for a reason, and, um, and this is just part of the journey. I mean, because uh, when we first, me, Jarvis, and uh, Tarah first got here, uh, we was all talking, and uh, we knew it was going to be a journey. And, um, 
and we knew we was going to lose some people along the journey, and um, that's just the way it goes. And, I mean, uh, we're just going to keep on fighting and just pushing. As it's turned out, what you said a few weeks ago about, you know, if we make the playoffs, look out. Yeah, so uh, next year, look out. <laughs> One more win would have done it. One more win would have made this this game for everything. Yeah. If you could replay one game, what would it be? New Orleans. We shouldn't have lost to New Orleans, but I ain't going to, I mean, I'm not the type to go back into detail right now. Just talk to me after the season, and uh, we can go back and uh, reminisce on some of the, on what could have happened back after the season.